welcome back to Ella's Beauty Bliss. Today's segment is about how to bring a City Select double stroller from faded to black. These strollers are over a thousand dollars, but some reason they tend to fade out in the sun, especially the black ones. I purchased mine from Kijiji for $400. It came with extras, skateboard, and two snack trays. So, I have washed the fabric already and placed it back. It's quite easy. There's a video on YouTube if you're not sure how to take off the fabric. As you can see, it's quite faded around the canopy and areas where the sun has really hit it. But I will attempt to bring this stroller back. I will be using today, I'll be working with blackboard paint. And I should mention, this is the first time that I have worked with blackboard paint. So bear with me and I will attempt to bring the black in this beautiful stroller. So stay with me and let's do this. I'm going to be wetting the cloth a bit and then I'm going to be dabbing some of the paint onto my cloth and then I'm going to pick, you know what, let me continue over here because this is what I was doing. I'm probably going to need both my hands for this. Right now I'm trying to hold the, the camera to show you, but pretty much this is what it's looking like. So this is pretty much what I have so far. I left this little section to show you the difference before and after. So when this dries completely, we're going to add another coat to it, um, especially in these areas. But I'm going to continue and I'm probably going to do like the inside that looks brown and then I'll do the the second one So I, I just finished doing this one. It's starting to dry. I might have to go back and do like little areas. 
but yeah, I took the canopy off and I'm letting it dry. So I did all inside the area. Just make sure you go everywhere as much as possible. And I found that like the labels, you can go over it and then just wipe it off after. It's okay, it won't stain it. And yeah, so this is how it looks. And I'm gonna continue doing the same thing on the second one. All right, so I'm gonna wet the brush a little bit. So we're gonna be working almost the same idea, but not as much water. So let's see, where does it need it? Maybe here. And if this actually gets um, dainted, you can always go back with uh, a lightly wet cloth to wipe it. So that's why we have our rag right there on the side. All right, let me just move this stroller. Again, a little bit more water, not a lot. And wet our, our brush. Doing this feathery brush. And I must say, this stuff is actually drying. I spilled a little bit in the sink, and it was actually drying like, like hard. So you gotta be careful. So the bowl that I'm using, I'm probably not gonna be able to use again. That's it. All right, probably need a little bit more water just because I can tell that it's starting to get a little thick. We don't wanna add the paint that thick. If you wanna play it safe, you could do it like the way I was doing it in the beginning, which would be um, wetting the cloth more and dabbing it in the paint. But the reason why I'm doing this is I'm sort of skipping the amount of times that I would need to, I guess, add, a, add coats on. We're just wetting the the brush a little bit with water and then adding on the paint and this I am making it more heavier this middle part just because I know how faded it was and let me see the lighting is not the greatest All right, so I'm going to wet the brush a bit more and that's what I'm doing and I'm just going to go over it. So when blue, it actually is 
wet and then as it dries it does get um it does turn black and I am making it a little bit heavier here in the water and the reason is because I'm trying to blend it I'm doing this feather paint blending more with water and the reason why is more like from this side onwards because this is not as faded all the way here it's not as faded more like this more like the crease here is more faded so all that in the middle crease all the way around that's faded so that's more thicker i haven't really added as that much of water on that area so i'm gonna So this is the end result after three days you must give it three days to dry the paint is actually safe and um, you could put it to wash if you like the paint tends to make things a little hard I guess more stiff the fabric stiff but um, that's okay I don't mind the canopy being stiff but um, overall, I like the end result. I paid $400 for the stroller, and I paid about $30 for the blackboard paint. And it is actually, once it's dried, it is safe for children. So that's the reason why I'm not gonna bother putting it in the wash. But if you're not happy with um, the fact that it is a little stiff, then you could put it to wash, but make sure you wait three days. And if you have any questions, um, please don't forget to comment. And I hope um, this video was helpful somehow. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And remember, you're beautiful no matter what. Bye.